Okay, now see this? This is going to be an absolutely barbaric showcase. I do want to go on ahead and welcome you guys back to another episode of Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkai H3 Mods. This is Moral Maris Absorbed versus Team Super Saiyan Blue Broly. Yes, Blue Broly. So let's not waste any more time and jump straight into this fight. So I, I, I want to go on ahead and showcase and do a kind of like a one on two fight. And this is what I want to do, right? So I'm going to add Broly, and then I'm going to add our boy Son Goku onto the mix, because I'm fairly certain if there are two people that I would love to see kind of jump Moro in this, it would be Broly and Goku. So again, if of course you guys are new to the channel, smash that subscribe button, give this video a big fat thumbs up. Now, I was honestly considering on working on a lengthy series involving Moro, Broly, Goku, Vegeta, and the premise of this was going to be something similar to either Vegeta or Goku going off to Planet Vampa to get Broly to help them, and without question in the comment section below what I want to know is, let's just say in theory, if we did have a hypothetical blue Broly versus Moro with Maris's angel powers, then how strong would, I mean, just by comparison Broly be to an Ultra Instinct level enemy, such as Moro with Angel's abilities copy because make no mistake about it I still think that Moro stomps both Goku and Broly But the thing is right Broly with blue would be Exponentially more powerful than I think people would give him credit for right and that's only because we've seen the amount of Insurmountable feats that Broly had you know surpassed and shattered in the Broly movie and to see how quickly he was able to shatter his limits just to catch up to Goku and Vegeta and then later kind of like just beat the ever so Saiyan blood out of them. It was insane. So I think that with this battle, there's no question that I think Broly would do better than Blue Goku. He would do better than Blue Vegeta. But I think that so many people, when they think of Broly, they think, oh, okay, he's going to stomp, you know, Moro out. Remember, this is Moro with Maris's abilities absorbed, right? So I think, in my opinion, Moro stomps out both of them, even if this were to be a two on one showcase. I mean, minus Ultra Instinct, we, we can't include UI Goku, it's just simply Blue Goku and a hypothetical Blue Broly, right? So, make no mistake about it, in my opinion, I definitely feel as though I think Moro would definitely take the cake. I would love to see this, do you see this right here? I would love to see that more than anything else, but chances are, one of two things would happen, right? Either Moro would become, I mean, I, I don't know, it's, it's kind of hard to say this because either Moro is overcome by Broly and Goku's power to where he does something similar to what happened in the manga and he becomes the planet, or it's, it's just the betterment to where Moro holds his own, he doesn't become damaged at all, and he's still able to trump both of them with literally little to no effort. So, if you guys want me to do a series where Broly and Moro are a thing, then I need you guys to let me know only because I need you guys to give me a narrative. Because my runoff narrative was going to be, it was going to be either Goku or Vegeta that use instant transmission to go to Planet Vampa to get Broly. Now, people might ask, well, why would they need Broly? The narrative was going to be that these guys were so hurt and so, like, you know, beaten down or whatever, that they needed more than what they had to take this guy down. So why not, in turn, bring in Broly, and then you can have Broly actually do something of substance to, you know, kind of insert himself in this battle, only because you can also have it to where Goku and Vegeta are convincing Broly that if this dude lives, then he's going to destroy the entire universe, right? So I think that would be great, and to see Moro's reaction to seeing another Saiyan with such an output of power, that would be crazy. And also what I would try to do is, can you imagine if I wrote in to where Moro copied Broly's powers and abilities, that would be so busted because not only would he have Vegeta and Gohan and Piccolo's abilities, etc, etc, minus Maris, he would also have Broly, so that would make him busted. So we've seen fan manga one-off specials where I wrote in uh, narratives to where we got to see Beerus involved, we saw Goku Hakai Moro, I I've done some crazy stuff on my main channel, so I think that Going forward, I definitely want to do something a little different to where uh, it, it's a story that showcases a sense of desperation, a sense of trial and tribulation for our heroes, only because no matter what it is they do, they can't stop this dude. So, do you guys think that the scaling is correct and that Moro Maris absorbed? Oh, what's he about to do? Oh, oh my living god. 
That's it, yep. Migate no. Oh, see, this is a game changer. This is a heavy game changer, only because, first of all, this is Master UI Goku, right? Originally, I, I wasn't thinking for, that he was gonna do this, but let's just see how far we can actually go with this. Alright, so, Moro blows him back. Moro's about to use the Supreme Explosion attack. Let's see if Moro's gonna have any leverage on our boy. But no question about it, uh, even if Broly were to get blue, he's still weaker than UI Moro, right? I mean, just, just considering all things, and considering the fact that he's able to regenerate so easily, it's not the fact that, like, he's immortal, oh, this would be so clean. It's not the fact that he's, quote, immortal, because he's not, but it, it's, it's a matter of being somewhat indestructible in the sense to where, no matter what it is that you do, you still can't destroy this dude's body, right? So... This is, a, I mean, Blue Broly and, and MUI Goku is a different story, so we're not going to count that. We're only going to count uh, Blue Broly and Blue Goku, only because, you know, reasons, right? So, in the comment section below, who do you guys think would win Broly, Goku, and Moro in this fight two-on-one? Uh, no Vegeta yet. Now, I, I know some people are going to say, why not Vegeta? Only because I want to I wanna have this kind of, like, runoff gig where I'm, I'm thinking that even if it, let's just say even if it were to be all three of them, then I think that their chances kind of increase, but not so much where people are going to be like, oh yeah, there's no doubt about it. You know, all three of them would shit stomp MUI Moro. Like, no, no question. I mean, there's, no, that, that's just, that's absolutely not the case at all, right? However, do I think it's possible? I think it's possible for them three to actually combine their attacks and giving Moro a hard time, but by no means do I believe that they're going to kill Moro, right? So I'm still standing the idea of Moro besting all of them at the same time, uh, but if this were to be, let's just say, MUI Broly, or MUI Goku, or MUI Vegeta, then this is an entire, entire entirely different conversation as a whole, right? Alright, so let me see, yeah, oh, me and Broly, listen, Broly and, and UI Moro right now, it, it's done, and as soon as he hits the ground, it's over, pesky human, Saiyan human, oh, it's over, damn, dude. First of all, I'm, I'm about to create some really high-end animations on this on my main channel. So that was that was such a cool fight. So either way, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for your time. If, of course, you guys are new, hit that subscribe button. Give this video a big fat thumbs up. Check out the previous videos and also check out the playlist located down below. And I'll be seeing you all down in the comment section below. Have a great day, everybody, and take care.